folks. Welcome back to Traverse Fitness here in Richmond, California. We're out here. I'm Ryan Stratus alongside Chris DeGangi, bringing you the final Ninja Sport Network competition here in the Ninja Sport Championship in the house, ready to rock and roll. Find our last five women, five men to move on to the championships later this summer in South Carolina. But right now, all the action is going to be here in Traverse Getting ready to go in just a few minutes. Yeah, Strat, it's been great so far. Uh, definitely excited to see who our top 10 men and women are going to be here in the open round, who will be competing later today on the speed hybrid and burnout. And then eventually, who will be our top five advancing to the championship? That's right. We're on to our second wave here of competitors in the open. These athletes... Get to watch a, they got to watch a little bit of the first wave to see what the time is going to be uh, that they need to beat when they get there. We have about another 40 athletes to go, capped out at around 79 or 80. And so we've got the second half of the athletes getting ready. They're all warming up right now. Our camera's going to be rolling here in a second. Looks like we're about ready. Alright, Isaac. So folks, if you're looking to follow along, you can go check out the ninjasportnetwork.com. Pull up the run order and the results over on the Ninjasport Network website in order to follow your favorite athlete or see the total numbers for the day. Just find that drop-down menu, find the Traverse Fitness Competition, and then you'll be able to see run order and results as they happen. But up on the start line, getting ready to run. Just getting our Haley Carmody. Oh. Haley on the starting platform, first runner of Wave 2. She ran an obstacle academy strat and had a, a slip up on the second obstacle. And then after that, she absolutely attacked the course. It was awesome to watch. And I hope she comes out of the gate just like that today. Awesome. All right. Well, Haley, getting ready to go. Waiting on all the final checks on the course. Thumbs up across the board. <laughs> Haley Carmody getting the applause from the crowd. Being the first runner in the second wave, always intimidating to be the first one to go. Haley on her way right now. Across the steps, big leap up to that rope, sliding it down for that ring swing. No problem on obstacle one into the spider hallway. Got to stay nice and low here. Brushing up against the cables is A-OK -okay as long as they don't get dislodged. As long as she keeps her head down here, she's looking good. Into that wooden portion's a little slick there, but in and out, no problem. Into that spinning log, kind of dodge the pillar, and then up and over the donut. Let's see what her technique's going to be. Opting to go for that sideways technique. Ah, not quite able to get the first attempt. Needs a little bit more. All right, try number two here. Ooh, up and over, not quite able to get it on the second attempt. She has one final try. Third and final attempt for Haley. Let's see if she can figure this out on her final try. Going slow at the start. Ooh, doesn't feel good on it, so she's going to step back. Just not feeling too confident on the balance here, but needs to attack after the donut. 
and got through it that time. Now she's picking up the pace in order to get through the rope jungle. Yeah, it took a good amount of time there thinking about what she wanted Lining to do, but now she's tracks. moving real quick through the ropes here. Ooh, big pull. Gets the clear there and onto the warp wall. Under a minute to go, though. Nice job up that four, up the 14, down the spider climb. She's got about third, coming up on about 30 seconds by the time she gets to the bottom of the hallway. Yeah, she's got to get through this here. She's got to get through this. Takes a big drop. And on now to the sliding track. Haley riding down, climbing up the rope up, as she slides pull, back. Pull, pull, pull. What a reach. It's going to be close. She's got about 10 seconds left. A skew oh. a little bit. The ring swing. Not quite able to. She's got a kick and go. Five seconds. Oh, uh. Not quite able to get the swing down, but impressive run. Got hung up a little bit on the balance log, but was able to salvage it and put on a good run after that. All right, folks, on the course, Zachary Osborne already up to the jumping spider, moving with great pace here. Going with that sideways hip turn. Trying to squeeze through. Watch those cables. And gets on out of there. Nicely done, no problem whatsoever on the spinning log. Now into the rope jungle. Remember those ropes do slide. You gotta be ready for that big move, the big jarring move there, no issues. And very smooth, under a minute to the warp wall. First attempt. Ooh, up we go. Nice job down the spider climb. Hopping his way down. Zach heading to that salmon ladder bar. Now we steady the swing down. Couple drops to move down into that next obstacle. Oh, try to go for that first move and just had a little bit too much power to that one side. You've got maybe two inches on each end of that bar. You don't have much room for mistakes. Try number two. Oh, gets a skew. Figures it out. Ah, not quite able to get that one. He has one final attempt. Plenty of time. But doesn't have any more chances after this one. This is his final attempt. To be able to slam it home every time. There's the first one. Second one clean. Trying to get down that track to the big drop here. Big drop. Hold on tight. Still needs to dismount. All the way through. Down to 30 seconds. See what he goes for here. Big reach up for those slopers. Big leap. Oh, too much momentum going forwards. We'll take that bar right out of the track. And that might be it for the time. Not able to reset with the time allotted. Zachary Osborne, fast until that point. Sam Ladder gave him a little bit of trouble, but good run until that point. Ryan Lashoff getting ready to go onto the platform. Ryan getting ready to run. Athlete that has 
one of the few athletes I've seen that can actually do obstacles in his hockey goalie attire. And down the rope slide and into that ring swing we go. Ryan heading on over to that jumping spider. Got to stay nice and low. He's got a locked in nice technique here. Watch those toes. Watch those cables. And on and out into that spinning log. Looking for the move. Under then over, no issues for Mr. Uh, Ryan Lashoff here into the rope jungle. Ooh, forcing that down the track, but no issues with transitioning through. Under a minute to that point, onto the warp wall. Working his way down the hallway. And here we go. Has to have good control. Check those corners. Notice he's bumping it over inch by inch. Being careful. So far, so good. Gets the dismount. And chalking up. Or the final obstacle. Just got to go from that salmon ladder bar, which we've seen people, when they leap out to it, pop right off of those rungs. Got to be careful when you, when you leap. Control that momentum best as you can. Looks like he might have wanted to static it, but it's really far out there. Leap, hold, not quite able to feel it out. A lot of force coming out of the hallway to make that distance. Perhaps grabbing up, jumping up higher in order to cause that weight to come down onto the bar instead of forwards might keep it from popping out of the rungs. I've only seen a few people be able to make this transition just to the bar. There, oh, uh, right there. Just too much on it. Too much forward momentum. Third and final attempt. Just a few seconds remaining. Ten seconds. Ah, just couldn't quite get the salmon ladder transfer, but a nice job from Ryan. Getting pretty quick to that point. Ethan is up next. Ethan Gardowski. Ready to go. He's running across those steps and takes it down the track on the rope for that ring grab. No issues on obstacle one. Let's see the technique for the spider hallway. Staying nice and low. Trying to stay nice and tight. Keep those legs engaged. Pushing through. And not quite able to get there. It's going to have to reset. Wait for that reset time to go down. And here's his second attempt. Looks like he's going for... A little more of a hip turn. Might help give those legs a little more traction. Fighting his way through to the end point. And needs a strong launch out of the hallway. And not quite able to get the dismount. Needs to reset one final time.
One last sure attempt. to wipe the shoes off here. All right, third and final attempt for Ethan. Pushing through here. Into the wooden portion. Again, needs a strong launch out to get to that platform. And not. Doesn't look like that's going to get there. Needs a big jump and not quite able to stick the landing. Nice try, Ethan. Coming up next on the platform, getting ready to go. It's going to be Anne Marie Lancaster out Anne. of Naperville, Illinois. Hey, another Naperville. One of mine. There you go. Anne Marie was 11th place at Obstacle Ninja Academy, missed the top 10 oh, by one spot. Wow. She's I'm been sure training she's really, really hard, a lot of motivation. Nice move through that first obstacle. Into the spider hallway. Got to really just lock in here. You don't want to take a fall. She's nice and low. Watch those toes. Once you get to the wood, this is the tough part here. Wants to get Everything a you high. got. Good job. Gets through the spider hallway. We'll see how she does here on the balance. Her teammate, Haley, took two falls here before getting through. Ooh, commits all the way through. You know she's happy with that. That's impressive job there. Anne Marie making her way through the ropes. Looking good. Good push. Got a swing through. Nice job. And onto the warped wall. Yeah, very smooth through so far, no issues. Wipes her feet off a little bit, gets right up the warped wall. First try, no problem, nice. Makes her way over to Making great the time here, climb. minute 20 to this point. So she'll have about a minute and a half by the time she gets down out of the spider climb. job coming down out of that hallway man it has to be nerve-wracking raising that heart rate even more before the final obstacle sliding down climb climb, climb 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 get to the rope. reach yes oh, barely was able to get it before going back down the track well we'll see here strat if she can get her swing to line up the right way she's got two more moves here on this obstacle goes for the roundabout not quite able to Steady it. Trying to wait it out here. There yeah, it is. Yeah, big reach. Let the hips settle. Down 45 seconds. Static. We could see our second clear here, Strat. She's just got to lock in this one move. Steady. Across on the first yes. attempt. Yes. Over. Locks in the move. Got to go over. Gets the dismount. Ah, can't clip the red. Needs a full clear. Clipping the red is not allowed just brushed against it on the way down needs to be entirely clear beyond the mat as a Ooh, but the second try she's going right away got a big pull uh, here not quite enough strength there at the very tail end nice try and marie lancaster should be good enough to get her in that top 10. we'll see how many Ladies, we have uh, left to run, but that impressive run from Anne Marie. Yeah, we'll take a look and see what that does for her. Up next.
right, y'all. We got uh, Jaden Welch on the move. Striding the cross. And on to the rope and ring swing. No problem there. Let's see how he approaches the spider hallway. Got to stay nice and low. He's got it locked in. Just needs to get that dismount going nice and high here to make sure he has the distance covered into that rolling log. Slow to start, trying to pick up the pace. And gets across it, nicely done. On out the rope jungle. Take those ropes down the track. Hop it through. Good reach and dismount, nicely done into the warp wall. Oh. And we're over at the warp wall. Up the wall we go. Jaden coming down into that salmon ladder. Let's see his technique here for the drops. Starts making the transitions down. Big drops handled, no problem. Looking for the dismount. And he's out of there. Trying to get to that sloper in order to transition to the salmon ladder bar. Wow, it's a tough reach. Can't quite reach there. Trying again. On those rock holds. Looking for that return. Return transition. Almost gets, almost gets the ring onto the hook. Just got to go on that first swing. Not quite able to get there. Nice try from Jaden. Okay, Swan, I need a quick battery change. Thirty seconds. Battery change. We'll take a second to uh, refresh our batteries on the cameras. Appreciate y'all hanging out with us. Going to be adjusting these cameras. Get those batteries recharged. Going again here in just a second. Thanks again, everybody, for hanging out with us today. If you'd like to follow along on the run order and leaderboard, go check out ninjasportnetwork.com for all those details. You can find the run order and the results top left of your screen. There'll be a hyperlink. You can click on that and find the drop-down menu for this competition. We're getting ready to head on back to the floor here. Just one second. Let me know if the video comes up. It's the first input. It's the one that's black right now. Yeah, it's the first one. Uh, 
Nothing? Good. Reese Woolen on the move. Swinging his way through obstacle number one. Making his way under the cables. Trying to get his way up and over through that hallway. Through the hallway into the spinning log. Sorry folks, having some uh, camera issues again. We're trying to work through as best as we can here. Now he's on the rope jungle now. Trying to make his way through onto the warp wall. the wall we go down into that spider climb hopping his way down the salmon ladder rungs now Ooh, couldn't quite make that last drop Getting the reset here. We'll try it again. Ah, oh, couldn't quite, quite get on his second attempt. He's got one more try. Final attempt here. There you go. Go, Still needs to get the dismount. Looking for the move here. Oh, not quite able to get it. Nice attempt from Reese Woolen. to uh, Chan uh, Chanel Arenas, runner number 49 out of 79, almost halfway. Actually, stand by. It'll be Evan. Oh. I got a reset here. This is uh, Evan White. Evan White on the move. Making his way through obstacle number one into the spider hallway. Scrunched up spider. Stay nice and tight in here. Making sure we don't clip any of those cables. Evan's through into that spinning log. Trying to feel it out. Nice job making it through. Now on to the rope jungle.
No problem there for Evan. Heading over now for the Wolf Wall. Up we go and done. Now he's working his way down. That spider climb. About a minute and a half remaining. Let's see if he can figure this out on his first attempt here. Big drop. Nice work. Going for that dismount in one. He's got to get right back up into it. Down to under a minute. Working his way up. Let's see if he can get this on his first move. Big link. Oh, tough move there. Very challenging finish. He's going to have less than less than 20 seconds for one last try. Right away into it. Ah, gets his hands on the ring, but not able to get it into that correct position. Looks like we got a bit of a hand, uh, n a little hand cut. Potentially, he's going to go get it looked at and taken care of somewhere. Might have a little bit of a hand injury, as they say, but hopefully he gets that taken care of. We'll be all right. Moving on to our next athlete. Ah, and here's Chanel. Sorry about that, folks. Thought we had a... Uh... Go. Chanel Arena's getting ready to go now. sure everything's good to go on the course before going. Should be ready to go here in just a few seconds. Making sure everything is all cleaned off. Taking some time here to make sure everything is good to go. You know, from the looks of things, we're seconds away from getting going. And 
Here we go. And Janelle's across on the steps, leaping up to that rope, sliding down, grabbing onto the ring, and uh, swinging her way through. Gets a clear on obstacle number one into that spider hallway. It's got to stay nice and tight on the steps here that she's taking, hopping through quick moves, bouncing away across. Needs to go through those cables out of the hallway into the spinning log. Under then over quickly through. Nicely done. Chanel into the rope jungle. Leaps out. Grabs onto those first two ropes. Slides it down the track for the transition. Makes strong moves here. Grabbing onto that last rope. Big wingspan. Hold tight for the swing. Dismount. There it is. Links it all the way through onto the warp wall. Cleaning the shoes as we go. Up the wall, working her way down. Spot a hallway. And here we go. She is on the final obstacle. Got to take that rope down the track, ride it back up for that ring grab. So climbing as she slides down. Big pull on the way back up. Reaches on, grabs to that ring. Now we're working over for the slide down. Grabbing hold here. She's got a straight swing, looking strong. Still about a minute to go. Hips are getting a little askew here. But now has that second ring in hand. Big swing, dismount. Needs to get across over the red triangle here. She's right there at it. Just needs to get that swing straightened out and must clear that pad. She's waiting for it. Trying not to rush the dismount. Needs to ball up and get an off angle swing dismount if she can. She's waiting for it. Hips are waiting just right. Oh, tacked off of the truss. Cannot utilize that portion of the obstacle. Close, but the transition through set her hips askew. Now here we go on try number two. Climbing her way back up. Nice job holding on tight. But eight seconds to go. This is going to be a tough move here. And that's going to do it. Just couldn't quite get the hips just right for it. the dismount. Harry Haldeman's up right now. And here we go. Harry's stepping off onto the platform, sliding across those steps. Takes the rope down the track and swinging through one-handed. Dismount, no issues on obstacle number one. Harry's a little taller here, so it's going to have to be scrunched up into this spider hallway. Got to stay nice and tight. Watch those toes. Not quite able to get there on his first attempt. Try number two. And here's Harry's second attempt. Got to keep those legs in play here. Watch those cables. 
brush up against him, but you cannot, cannot knock him loose. Pushing through here into the wooden portion of the spider hallway. And through on his second attempt. Heading over now for the spinning log. Hold on, Harry, hanging on tight, making our way through. Gets the dismount, heading over to the warp wall now. Harry, top of the wall now, working his way down this spider climb. Harry making it down the salmon ladder. Now he's got to get back into. Uh, not quite able to get there. Just out of gas and out of time. Nice try, Harry.
jumping Spider-Man. I don't know what is going on. So clip in. All right, here we go. Back in action. Just trying to cross the steps. Ah, got to get back to the start. Got to make sure we get that big jump. Cora Schuler. Already qualified from a previous competition. I'm looking to get a little more, a little more experience. Big jump out to the rope. And there we go. See how we do on the spider hallway here. Nice and secure through the first portion. Just trying to make our way through the wooden portion and dismounting. And then she's out of there. Heading over now to the spinning log. Under and over and clear. Nicely done. Moving on for that rope jungle. Back and forth. Cora trying to make sure we have good control. Each swing and grab. And dismounting through. Heading over to the warp wall now. First try on the warp wall. Up and to the top. Nicely done. Climbing our way up. Got about a half way to go with their time. Let's see if we can get it on the first attempt. A minute, 10 seconds. Coming up on that one minute remaining. Hold on tight for the drop here. Be careful. Coming down and big drop out of that hallway. One minute to go. And here we go, sliding down the track. Hold on tight. Plenty of momentum on the way back up. Swings right away into the transition. Excellent move there. Uh, wants to make sure she steadies these hips for the transition. That's what we've seen. Most people have issues here. On to the transition through. Nicely done. Hips going straight. 20 seconds remaining. Needs to get all the way over the triangle in order to get a full clear. Not clipping it. Up into the buzzer. Hit it before the time runs out. There it is. Core Schuler with a full clear. Just one misstep at the start. Other than that, impressive run from Cora.
right, up next is going to be Nate Hansen. Getting ready to go. Gnarly Nate. At the start line. Gnarly Nate getting ready for his next shot on American Ninja Warrior. Coming up in just a few weeks. Swinging his way through. First obstacle, no problem. Nate working his way into that scrunched up spider hallway. Got to stay nice and low here. Low and controlled. And needs that strong push for the dismount. And he's on out of there. Let's see how he attacks the rolling log. Under and over. No problem. Quick fancy footwork from Nate into the rope. Swings we go. Good transitions. Big back pull. Gets the landing and heading on over to that warp wall. First attempt. Grab and hold and climbing all the way up. Nicely done. Working his way down to that salmon ladder. Let's see his technique here for the big drops. Oh, just too much out to one side. Taking the bar out and completely. Got to be quick on the placement on those down salmon ladders. In control now. Big drop. Locks it in. And gets the dismount. Still one minute to go. One final obstacle. Going right away here. Got to get a big move up to those slopers. Ooh, going for a reverse throw here. It's a little different than we've seen. Not much room for a backswing though, so he's gonna he's gonna change his approach here slightly, put those feet back on the wall. He's gotta commit to the throw. Oh, not quite able to get there. And took a while on the wall, so that's gonna eat into what time he has remaining once that reset time goes back down to zero. So he's gonna have to be very efficient if he wants to get through this one. But with only a few seconds remaining, if anything, this will just give him some more experience. If he went further, far enough, fast enough, one time, almost gets there. Nice try, Gnarly Knight. Right, next athlete on the course, getting ready to go. Sam, Sam Farr also qualified at an earlier competition. Put on an impressive run at Obstacle Academy. And now working his way through. Nice transition off of the rope into that ring swing. And into the spider hallway we go. He's rocking my shoes of choice. Those fresh foam Zantes. I got the same color. Sam looking strong. Trying to stay nice and tight in there. Taller guy, so he's got to have those hips turned to the side just to make it through out of the spider hallway. 
Got to run across this spinning log. Stepping up and over. Nice job. Good control. Into the rope swings. Big reaches. And very smoothly through the rope jungle. First attempt. Gets there. Climbing his way up. And working his way down. This spider climb. On now to the salmon ladder. Starts hopping his way down. Nice, still done. Locks it in for that last rung, but still needs to get a full swing for the clear. Nice job, Sam. About a minute and a half to go. Last obstacle. Let's see what his approach is going to be. We've seen a lot of people get to this point, but having a hard time transitioning to that bar without it popping out of its cradle. First try from Sam. Right away. Ah, not quite able to get there. He's got a, about 50 seconds. He'll have about 40 seconds remaining after that reset time. The sticking point here for this one's been getting to that getting to that bar and then transitioning up to that ring without that bar falling out of its cradle. Here we go with the final attempt with the time that's allotted. Yes! Nails the ring transfer. Still needs to get to that flying bar. For the 15, 10. Oh my gosh! Almost got it. Fingers just popped off needed that switch grip to keep those hands from peeling open sam impressive run couldn't quite stick it there at the end went the whole obstacle academy crew there giving them some props All right, up next is going to be Tom Alberti. Ninja Tom. So our 56th runner, 56 out of 79. Cruising right along. If you'd like to follow along, you can find that run order over on ninjasportnetwork.com. But now, Ninja Tom. Ready to go. And he's on his way down the track. Gets to that ring and swings on through. Heading into that spider hallway. Got to stay nice and scrunched up here. Oh, feet just slip out of the bottom. Going to have to reset on that one. Just got to be aware of those feet. Watch those toes. Not quite able to get it. He's got one more try. Tom really cleaning those shoes off best as he can here. Third and final attempt. Hopping his way through, staying nice and tight with those legs. Now he's trying to work his way through that wooden portion. And out of there, barely avoiding disaster. Now he's going to have to pick up the pace through these remaining obstacles. Quickly through the spinning log over to the rope jungle. Cutting that corner. Building that swing up.
and heading on over to that warped wall. First attempt, all the way up, no problem, and working his way down this spider hallway. Just about a minute to go. Let's see how he handles these drops. Watching those corners. Ooh, nice job on the big drop. Getting that swing built up right away for the dismount. He's on out of there. He's got about 40 seconds. He's only going to have one attempt here with the time that he's got. 30 seconds. Not much time to mess around with. He's only going to get one try here with the time. Oh, and that's, that's going to be tough. Looks like they might. He's going to try again. But he's only going to have three, a few seconds remaining. He's going to give it his all, though. Oh, on the last try that he had with the time remaining, almost gets it. Nice try, Tom. Right, up next is going to be Megan Budway getting ready to go. Megan goes by the Music Ninja, a music teacher out of a school in North Carolina. Getting ready for her second season of American Ninja Warrior. Striding across those steps. Hold on tight for the ride down. Clear on obstacle number one. Got to stay nice and tight here in the hallway. Got to be careful with those toes. Scrunch in and keep the pressure on the toes. Careful with the transition out of the plexiglass into the wood. It needs a strong push for that dismount. And... Gets on through yeah, into that spinning log we go. See what her technique's going to be. Does it go slow, then fast? How's it going to look? Testing things out here. Too far forwards. Going to have to reset. I think this one's been causing a lot of people time to second-guess themselves on their approach. Can be intimidating. Want to figure it out as best as you can. Going slow through the first half. Gonna try to pick up the pace after the donut, perhaps, as long as she keeps those feet in control here. Up and over, picks it up and clear. Nicely done. Going to try to turn on the gas here a little bit for the move through the rope swings. Got to keep those hips straight. Good transitions through rope jungle. Oh, but the dismount was just a little shy. It's about a minute remaining. Needed to go all the way beyond, on or beyond that yellow. Got to slide with those ropes. Ooh, careful on the drops. Ooh, the big.
big swing out, not quite able to get there. She has one final attempt. One last try here. 30 seconds remaining. Hold on for the slide. Loses momentum a little bit, but it's able to adjust. Big reach. Gets the clear that time, heading on over to the warp wall. It's gonna have about 10 seconds to make it. Only gonna have one try. She wants to get there and to the top, but needs to get down out of the spider hallway in order for it to count. And that's gonna do it for her time. Nice try, Megan Budway. Coming up now, we've got Zach Eichenstein getting ready to go, hanging out at the start platform. And Zach's on the move. No problem through obstacle number one. Climbing up into that spider hallway. Keep those toes engaged. Zach's trying to fight through that tiny little window. Climbing up now, pushing through the wooden portion. And into the spinning log. Got to be careful here. Taking it slow to start. And picking up the pace after the donut. Gets to clear on the spinning log. Heading on now to these rope swings all the way through. Careful when they shimmy at the top. Forces it to the end of the track. Loses his momentum, but able to adjust. And Zach moving on now for the warp wall. First attempt on the warp wall here. Up we go. Now he's working his way down halfway on the time. Down we go, and right away for the drops. Big drop secured. Needs to stick this landing inside of the climb. There it is. Just gonna grab some of that bucket of chalk, chalk. And get ready for the climb up. Big reach here. Watch those feet. Climbing up. 45 seconds or so to go. Let's see what his approach will be. Leaps out. Right away into it. Oh, couldn't hold on. Great attempt from Zach. He's got a, he'll have time for one more attempt. Final attempt here with the time that he's got on the bar, on the ring, not quite able to grab it and hold it. Made the ring onto the hook both times, but could not maintain the grip. Nice try, Zach Eichenstein.
right up next we got Kevin Carbone goes by the maker ninja Kevin on the attack Kevin's been making obstacles now for several several years maker craft want some cool looking obstacles go check out all of his designs He's making his way through spider hallway scrunched up no problem and gets through without any issues heading over to the spinning log what's the plan of attack going to be here ah couldn't quite make the first move but it's going to take a second to reset Under and over, there it is. Got through his second attempt. And moving right away into rope jungle. Nice transition through. And picking up the pace. Heading over for the warp wall. Shouldn't have any issues on the warp wall. Was one of the few athletes to get the mega wall on American Ninja Warrior. I was working his way down. Spider climb here. On that salmon ladder right away. Careful here. He's got a lot of swing, but adjusts. And now he starts making the hops down. Checking those sides. Great control. Building up the swing dismount for the salmon ladder clear. Taking a second to chalk up down there. Time allotted, should have time for two tries if he gets a little hung up, but hopefully he gets it in one. one minute left. Here we go. Climbing his way up here. Don't want to spend too much time on those rock holds, sapping your grip strength. Switch grip, grab. Not quite able to get it. Great technique to that point. It's just a little off on the ring hook. Let's try again once he gets that time. Last attempt here, 30 seconds to go or so. It's gonna have to move quick. And lands the hook, but needs to get to the bar. He's got about 15 seconds to go. Oh, look out, folks. Here's a, whoa, the fingertips just couldn't hang on. Kevin Carbone, great run nonetheless. All right, getting ready to go now. It's going to be Jacoby. Once they get it. Once everything's set. And here we go. Jacoby on the move. Swinging his way through obstacle number one. Got to stay nice and scrunched up here. Watch those feet. Don't want them to slip, pop out of that hallway. Going 
going for the slow approach. And nice job. Cross the spinning log. Got to make sure that swing stays in control for the rope jungle. Heading on over to the warp wall now. Under a minute to this point. Great pace. First attempt. First one and done. Up and over we go. Working your way down that spider climb. Great pace thus far. Feeling things out. Nice little switch grip transition to face forward. Big drop down. And immediately hops on out of there. Great stuff. Minute 30 to go for one more obstacle. Come on, Jacoby. Let's get a full clear here. Reaching up. Good pull there on the rock wall. Here we go for that transition. Hold tight. Right away. Couldn't make the move with the ring in hand. We're seeing these athletes slowly figure out this transition, able to at least get onto that ring. We've seen a couple athletes get to that bar, but not go with that first swing through. Not sure if it is doable from a static position. Kind of got to go in that one dynamic motion. Here we go for his next attempt here. Going for that switch grip grab and nice job controlling his momentum. Let's go. Was able to calm it down just enough. 15 seconds here. Oh, no. Just loses where the bar was at. Impressive run from Jacoby Herman. That run going to put him in third place at the moment. <clears throat> All right. Next up is going to be Amelia Leonardi. Previously qualified. Another Ninja Sport Championship qualifier. Let's see how she does at this one. And here we go. Striding across the steps and taking that rope down for a ride. And gets to clear on obstacle number one. Keep those feet in play here for the scrunched up spider. Locking it in through the plexiglass portion up into the wooden exit and gets through that scrunched up spider no problem heading on over to the spinning log see what her approach is going to be taking a step out onto the pillar just to feel it out going slow and controlled and nice job through into the rope jungle Got a little hung up here. Got a hold tight. Oh. Getting through the rope jungle here. Needs to make sure she's got the swing for it. She's got the wingspan. Excellent work transitioning through. Heading on to the warp wall now. First attempt. 
Great stuff. Up and to the top we go. Meals on wheels. Coming on down the spider chimney. Ooh, big drop. Just under a minute to go. Looking for that full clear. Takes the rope down the track, pulling her way back up. Nice lock off strength, but needs to get a little higher. Ooh, barely able to get to that ring before going back down that track. Just about 30 seconds to go here. Good transition. Wants to make sure these legs are going to help with the swing here. Keep it straight. Don't transition too soon. Wants those hips in control for the transition. 15 seconds or so. Got to get to that buzzer with the time remaining. Oh, gets the clear. Oh, hit the buzzer. Oh, she bad landed on the leg. Somebody check her leg. Look, like she came down pretty hard on the knee potentially. Somebody check her out. Might have been a bad fall there. We'll come back to you, see how she is. So a quick update for you folks. They're uh, checking her out on the floor. Looked like she just split the difference when it came over the mat onto the landing platform. Just kind of had an awkward landing. Tweaked her, I uh, believe, what looked like to be an ankle, potentially. They're looking at her out there right now, trying to compose herself a little bit, but still had the heart to continue on to the buzzer and got the clear. But needs to, uh, they're checking her out right now to see how the leg is gonna going to react. But... And give her a little little hoist and helping her get off the course right now. They're taking care of the ankle and trying to hoist her out of there.
Oof. You hate to see it, folks. We'll uh, update you when we find out more in regards to how she's doing. Just taking a second to uh, give her some time to breathe here. All right, folks, just a little update. They've got an uh, orthopedic surgeon over there doing an evaluation on her, making sure uh, we find out as much as we can in regards to her status, and we'll, we'll try to find out and let you know what a full update uh, looks like in a little bit. Just like put this down real quick. Uh, yeah. I don't know when we're going. Uh, let's. Yeah. What are we looking like, Ethan? Okay.
All right, folks. It looks like we are going to get underway here in a moment. Again, keep Amelia in your thoughts. She's been such a good competitor for us so far this season. Hopefully, hopefully nothing too serious. She's get, getting care right now for what appears to be a lower leg injury. Yeah, they, it's a tough landing there she had. They had an orthopedic uh, doctor over there looking at her, checking her out. And we're ready to roll with our next competitor, but if we find out more information today. We'll try to we'll try to update everyone, but not sure when we'll find out that information. So fingers crossed, it's not too bad. And on the course right now has been frozen like a popsicle, sitting on ice up there the whole time. It's going to be Cam Baumgartner getting ready to run. Cam, the man, striding across those steps into that first obstacle. Up and over we go into the spider hallway. Got to keep those legs nice and strong all the way through. Oh, no, he knocked one over. No, got to go back. Oh, that's a huge setback for Cam right go now. Too fast. Yep, got to watch those cables. Try at number two here. And getting through that time into that spinning log. Nice strides through, no issues, and leaps directly onto the swinging ropes. Watch those slides. Well, you can have a fall here, Strat. I mean, he's, you know, just because he had a reset doesn't mean he's out of it by any means. And so I'd, li I'd like for him to just be calm. Yep, he's pushing Don't his way through it. here. Good move up the wall. Still very fast to this point. This is the move right here, coming down the salmon ladder. We've seen so many athletes have trouble making these moves. Deciding to face forwards. Good control. Just Big needs dismount that dismount. Here. And all the way for that final obstacle. Let's see how he decides to go about it. Taking a second to get a little more chalk on. Cam climbing up now for the move across onto the bar. Oh, Cam with the almost full flyaway. Couldn't quite control the transfer on. Got to have that power to either go right away or control it and maintain your momentum in one spot. Trying again. Strat, he's really going to need a full clear here if he wants to move on to be top 10. He's got time. He's going to have to move quick, though. This is going to be tough. Oh, yes. what a move. What a move. He's got to get it. Seconds 10 so. seconds. Hold 10 seconds. Hold it, Cam. Let's get out of there. Oh. No, short on the dismount. It's a huge move to the top of the box. Couldn't quite make the dismount impressive to that point, but oh my gosh, nice try, Cam. It's the best we've seen so far. The best attempt at the dismount. <laughs> Up next is going to be Evan Andrews. Evan Andrews on the move right now is going to be moving quick here. Evan working way into the spider hallway here. And 
into that spinning log. Oh, not quite able to get to the end after that first move over the donut. Got to wait for that reset time. Evan and gets through his second try on the spinning log into that rope jungle. Taking those ropes through. Nice control and gets the dismount heading on over the down warp wall. Up on that warp wall, one try, no problem. Clean his shoes while he's up there. Now let's see his descent down the chimney. And on to that salmon ladder for the drops. Good control all the way down. Evan yeah, looking for the dismount. There. Good stuff. Taking a second here, wants to collect himself for this last big combination. But you don't want to spend too much time on those rock holds. And that's got to wait that out. Try number two. Evan climbing his way up. I believe this is his third Ninja Sport Championship event. Ooh, nicely done. Come on, let's go. Plenty of time remaining. Hold let's tight. Let's go, Evan. Big dismount coming up here. Oh, no. Not enough. Oh, he's got no a, stretch. He's got no, a little time left. No. He might he might get it on his last attempt. He was so close. That is a big transfer to the dismount platform. Well, if Josiah Papel is watching, he's probably foaming at the mouth because you got to have a really good arch, and I know that he has great Dragon. technique on oh. that. Third and final attempt, not quite able to get there. Evan Andrews, exciting finish. Oh, yeah, Strat, in order to prevent the back peeling out on the back like that, you got to have a really good arch in your back, and that's where you generate the power. Yeah, that was so close. Oh. Nice try. All right, Alex Real on to the move now. Hopping his way through into that spider hallway. Watch those toes. Ah, nope, tap down, gonna have to reset. Gotta keep those legs up. Alex working his way through. Poking his head up out of the water just a little bit each time just to get those legs a little bit of a breather instead of saying scrunched up that entire time. So yeah. tough. Not a lot of breathing room for your feet down at the bottom there. No, not much room at all. Nicely done across the spinning log. No issues there. Right away into the rope jungle. Big swing through for that dismount. Heading on now to the warp wall. First attempt up to the top. Nicely done. I'm going to start working his way down. Using his hands up there, trying to give those legs a little bit more of a breather. Very leg heavy course out here. Yeah, a lot of lower body elements. 
Starts working his way down. About a minute remaining. More of this final obstacle. We're starting to see more athletes break through to get to this point. So the time to get to that last obstacle is going to be where the cutoff's going to be for that top 10 to move on into the finals. And here we go. Good save on the reach up for those rock holds. Here we go. Let's see his tech here for the transfer. Right away. On to that static bar now. Up for another. Up for grabs. Hold tight. Gets to the feet hit. Got to go back. Not enough time. Just a little shy on the dismount. And let's see if we can go back to that dismount. Watch the feet. So close. Ah, oh, in the ribs. Nice try, though. Up next, we got Tiana Weberly. Sweet tea. Really good attempt from Alex there. So close. Sweet tea on to the move. We see longtime competitor on American Ninja Warrior. He's been making moves in the stunt world as well. Staying busy, traveling all over. And getting ready for that next shot on American Ninja Warrior in just a couple weeks. Making her way through this scrunched up spider. Clear through the first two. Let's see how she handles this rolling log. One, two, three. Nice job through the spinning log there. No problem. A little squirrely at the end, but makes it through onto the rope jungle. Take those ropes down their tracks before transitioning over. Good power there. Good lock offs, but oh, just uh, not all the way to the platform. A little shy there. Gonna have to reset. Here we go, try number two. Oh, not quite able to get there on her second try. Sweet T. Take a second to collect yourself. She's got the strength. Yes, yeah, it's really awkward move because as you're reaching out for that next rope, the, the pole wants to slide on you because they're on sliders. Third and final attempt here. Nice, forcing it to the finish point. Taking a little more time just to be more sure of those hand placements. Big wingspan reach and gets the landing that time and on now to the warp wall. Coming up on just about a minute remaining. Grabs on and climbs up. Just needs to transition down the chimney. Big drop down to get that clear for the warp wall section. Ooh, hold on tight for the rope slide. It's going to take it back up to the top. Does she have enough momentum? She does. And starts transitioning her way down. Only about 30 seconds left here, Strat. Needs to make sure that swings nice and straight. She's going to try to steady these hips again before the transfer. Gets the swing through. It's going to be close. She's a little crooked. She's a little crooked. Four seconds. Trying to fight the swing here. Oh, it's going to come down to the wire. Oh, oh. not quite enough energy to get the transfer across. The rope junction might have just taxed out those powerful moves for that big dismount. But great run, nonetheless, from Sweet T, Tiana Weberly. <laughs> on 
All right, up next we got Enzo Di Ferrari Wilson, one of our sponsors for Ninja Sport Network, the Ocean Needs Everyone Group. Enzo's been putting in the work. Also getting ready for his next shot on American Ninja Warrior as well. And here we go. Enzo swinging his way through. Let's see how he does in this spider hallway. Staying nice and compact. Making little tiny movements here. Tiny hops. All the way through the hallway. Heading over the log, no problems there. And here we go for rope jungle. Transitioning through. Excellent control. Hopping his way over to the warp wall. Looking for that first first attempt. No problem. Up we go. It's gonna dry off those feet just a little bit at the top. Gotta go down this hallway. Down the chimney. Gotta control these moves down the track. Nice, nice work. Just gotta get off of it. Good work on the dismount. A minute and 20 seconds, making great time here. Got some time to spare. Trying to figure out the hand placements here and how how he wants to attack this obstacle. Climbing up. Careful on of the rock holds. Leaps right away yes, into it. Nice work. Nice work, Enzo. One more up for grabs. Locks it in. Big dismount here. Take your time. Take Gotta arch your time. it. Needs to arch his back. Oh. He's got time, though, Strat. He's got time, Strat. <sighs> got one more attempt with the time that he's got remaining. One of the few to be able to make the grab onto that final bar cradle. But the transition out is so tricky right away. Ah. Might have banged his head a little bit somewhere along the line. I think they might call it on that. We're going to see. Yeah, I think he's going to save that strength. But the yeah, speed to that point should put him in a good time. position. That is a tough, tr uh, tough dismount. Enzo. And that is going to put Enzo in second place at the moment. Looking good for that top 10 spot, Strat. Made oh, it yeah. really good time. So close there at the end. Well, up right now is going to be Mr. Vance Walker. And Vance on the move. Striding across. Vance, one of the few athletes make it a stage three in season 13. He's getting ready for his next shot on the show. Coming up in just a few weeks. Tiny hops here through the spider hallway. Gets through the spider hallway into that rolling log. Not a huge fan of balance. Let's see how he attacks this obstacle. Going to take his time here. Feel it out a little bit. And attacks it. Nice job. Excellent footwork. And into little the flip. Little flip at the end of it for some flair.
Good work on Rope Jungle. Head on over to that warp wall. Probably one and done is all he needs. Got some time to spare. Down we go, looking for the bar. Fans pretty strong on the salmon ladder. Let's see if he can keep the technique needed for this one though. He's got extreme upper body explosive strength. And no problem. Just about a minute to go. And things one last time before he begins his attempt. Wants to get a big reach here. Ooh, careful, Ooh. Vance. Get your feet up. Big stretch. Use those legs. And here we go. Looking for a good power push off the platform. Oh, good control there. Oh, just got a little tangled up when he was in midair for the ring transfer. It's going to take a second to reset. Try again. And here we go. Ah. Oh. Slipped right out, and that's going to do it for his time. But nice try, Vance. Got there pretty quick. We're coming up on about our last 10 here. Coming up next is going to be Maggie Owen. Maggie Owen out of Naperville. I actually coach Maggie in two sports, track and, uh, oh. and ninja. I almost said track and pole vault, but that wouldn't have made sense because no, no. that's the same thing. <laughs> that is a track, track event. <laughs> Aren't you a football coach as well? That's right, Strat, I am. Man, but Maggie time. doesn't play football. Uh, all right, Maggie on the move. No problem on that transition over to the swinging ring and hopping into that spider hallway. Got to say nice and compact here. No issues thus far but the exit needs enough push to get through she does nice work well i gotta be honest maggie gets a lot of short jokes and i gotta tell you it pays off right there that does it does help out <laughs> in certain situations <laughs> through the balance leaping to the platform right on the corner nice job heading over now for the rope junction nice gotta be uh, careful when that pipe through. moves Nice job, big swing, big reach, gets the dismount. Heading on over to the warp wall now. First attempt, nice grab, pulls her way up to the top. Starts working her way down that chimney. Climbing on down. And head over for that rope slide ring combo. Well, Strat, she's got plenty of time here to get this clear. Running her climb, way up, got to start climbing here. Wants to make sure she's got enough momentum on the way back. Ooh. Close Ooh. move there. Nice transition, great. Great hip swing. Using those legs. Nice. Very controlled on the transitions to the ring. Just make sure she's nice and straight on the swing. Got to stay straight here. Hips are a little askew, but about a minute to go. Plenty of time to figure it out. Oh, nice all the way through. Buzzer. Nicely done. Nice patience there at the end to ensure she got the full clear. Not clipping that.
pad to finish. Maggie and that Owen. is going to put Maggie in first place at the moment with seven obstacles cleared. Huge performance there. Impressive stuff. And here we go, Joe Meisner on the move. Joe working his way through. Got to stay nice and tight in this hallway. Stay nice and compact here. And now on his way over to that spinning log. Woo, nice job all the way through into the rope jungle right away. Joe putting on a good pace here. All the way through, heading over to that warp wall. Right away into it. Couldn't make it on his first attempt, that's all right. Take a second to reset, get those shoes clean. Try number two. Gets it on his second. Starts working his way down. <laughs> Hopping his way down. Good control here. And maintaining his swing the whole time in order to get that dismount right away. Halfway at this point on his time. One last obstacle. Can we get a full clear here? You Plenty mentioned time. Josiah earlier, and I know Joe and Josiah train together quite often. So let's see. He's got the tech required for that dismount. It would be really fun, Strat, to see the two of them both in the championship battling it out. But it starts with getting top 10 right here. Here we go. Let's go. Just need to get this flying bar. Oh, no! Too much to one side. But he's got time. He's got time, Strat. He's got a good feel for it. His first slip up. Come on, Joe. We saw Enzo do the same thing. Enzo was so close on his second try. He's got about 30 seconds left. He's gonna have try. He's gonna have time for just one last try here. Nice job He's with the have ring transfer. Fifteen seconds. It's gonna be down to the He's, wire here. It's coming down to it, Strat. Ah, <sighs> not quite gonna get there. Nice try, Joe. Impressive stuff. All right, I believe that's going to be our final. We're into our final 10 now. Sam Folsom on the platform getting ready to go. And that puts Joe Meisner in 13th place, unfortunately. Ah, tough break, Joe. Sam Folsom. Here we go. Sam's already qualified as well, but getting some extra experience never hurts. Well, Sam, coming off an elbow injury. Oh, that's right. Hasn't competed. He, he's been at oh, some of our... Missed foot. Oh. missed foot on the halfway point, almost out of that plexi. What were you saying, Everett Ganji? Well, we've seen him spectating at some of our NSC events. His brother, Phil, been dominating. But yeah. uh, he's excited to be out here competing today. Good to see him back in action. Looking for the move here. All the way through and out of the spider hallway. And 
And under and over. Nice job. Right away into those ropes. Big pull for this transfer. Heading over to that warp wall. Sam, <laughs> strong so far. Well, he's got the one fall right now, Strat. Still, it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, he'll need to finish the rest of the course in order to work his way into that top ten. Nice job on the salmon ladder drops. It's out of there. Have about a minute 15 to go. Trying to figure out the hand placements here. Climbing up for that first attempt. He's eyeing the jump here. Right away into it. And knows he needs to keep moving. Hold He's got tight. It. This is going to be a big dismount. Take your time. He's knows got he time for it. Big swing. Yes. Sam Folsom, the Sam. first finisher of the day. Impressive stuff. Sam, Sam Folsom. Folsom gets the clear. Huge dismount there at the end. First place. He did take a fall, though, so he's, you know, left himself open to get past. If somebody can get a full clear without any falls, and will Max Feinberg be the one to do it? Stepping up next. And hey, Max Feinberg on the move, swinging his way through. Max getting positioned into that hallway. So far, so good. Working his way over for that spinning log. And going quick here. Nice commitment on the foot placement and a heel click to finish. Just for good measure. Nice work. Watch out. Got to kick back for a little bit. High grab will take away some of that pendulum. But he adjusts immediately. Heading over that warp wall. Looking for the one and done. One slip, not quite able to get it on his first attempt. <laughs> Try number two, hand oh. was in there, but just couldn't quite get a full grip. Max not, not getting the wall as easy. As he would hope, but that is a larger wall. He had his hand in there on the last one. Third attempt. There it is. Still a little closer comfort, Strat. I, I don't know. a little bit there, Mr. Feinberg. But he's picking up the pace here. Oh, he's giving me a heart attack out here, Strat. I'm going to start hopping his way down. Checking those Nice corners. work. Nice work. Gets the dismount. And let's see what his leg, or his hand technique's going to be here on the way up. Which route is he going to take? Oh, I tried to go for a big move. And that's going to be a, a reset. Got time for one try here. 
going to have to get everything in one go. Transitions. Still doable. Yes, Still doable. sir. Works on really tricky, techie-type stuff in his basement all the time, so this shouldn't be out of his wheelhouse. Nice job. Take your time. You've got the time. There's You've the got arch. the time. Looking for the arch. You've got the time. Big dismount. <laughs> what a save. <laughs> Sticks the landing, and a little bit of an awkward stick there with his legs, but kept them up, didn't bottom out or anything. Great stuff from Max Feinberg right there at the end. Jesse Lebrec on her way. And Lebrec on the move. Flex for Lebrec. Making her way into that spider hallway. Jesse already qualified at obstacle. Ninja Academy up in Minnesota. Slowing it down here on that spider hallway just to be safe. Heading on now for that spinning log. I like it. She took her time, nice and slow. Gets through, through the log. Oh, little stumble. She's through. She's clean. Woo. Nice job. And into the rope jungle we go. Keep Gotta be those careful. Straight. Gets grabs low. Keep your feet up. Nice. Gets all the way through. Heading onto that warp wall now. Nice job. One try on that warp wall. No issues there. Lebrick, long-time American Ninja Warrior competitor. Dropping down for that final obstacle. Plenty of time to spare. Got to climb up. Got to climb up. Sliding it down. Good grab. Ooh, careful. Relax, stay relaxed. There you go, taking a second to catch your breath here. Line it up here, nice work. Okay, she's a little crooked, hips are a little skew. Just make sure she's steady for the transfer and the throw. Nice. Gets the swing through, needs a lot of momentum to clear the line red. Line it up, line it up. Jesse LeBrec the gets the full clear. Excellent stuff. Flex Lebrick. Breathing a little heavy. And that run is going to put Jesse in first place. Seven obstacles cleared, gets the full clear, no fails, and a time of 2.02. Impressive stuff. Saw one question in the chat How can I view the standings so far? If you're looking for the leaderboard, head over to ninjasportnetwork.com. And uh, check out the leaderboards over there. You'll see a hyperlink for the standings. But right now, we've got Jake Murray on the course. Jake making his way through onto that spider hallway right now. Jake tried earlier in the season to, qualif uh, to qualify, and he did on his, I believe, his first attempt at Ninja Intensity. Yeah, Jake made it through at Ninja Intensity. So out here just to get that experience. Oh, making his way through. Jake. So controlled oh there gosh, on the balance. That skateboard skills. <laughs> making his way through that funky balance. Jake now on these sliding ropes. Nice job through. Heading over to that warp wall. 
y'all looking for some cool cool designed rugs he's got a new instagram heckin rugs go check that out make some custom rugs always working on some creative projects up that warp wall no issues starts hopping his way down transitions for this salmon ladder drop Gets those three. Ooh, got to make sure we're all the way out. Just needs a little more momentum built up here for that dismount. So far, so good. On now for the move for this final series of obstacles. Jake's on the transition, goes backwards in order to keep the momentum the way he wants it. First person to go backwards off of the wall. See if this pays off for him. Yo, let's nice go work. with that ring twist. This is the one right here. Getting on. He's got plenty of time to spare here. Big throw, gets that switch grip in, in place. Oh, just shy on the left side of the up for grabs into the cradle. Yeah, it came up just a little bit short there. Second try for Mr. Murray. Oof, again with the backward switch hip, uh, switch grip grab. Oof, locks it in. Two He's got in about a row. 15 seconds here. It's going to be close. He's got time. Hold tight. Looking Five for the seconds. Dismount. Arch the back. Gets the buzzer. Ooh, no. The tap on the bottom. I think just shy of a full clear. But foot tapped on the base there of I think that's what the standing was going to be shy yeah just just close but foot drag bottomed out there at that base of the of the platform but that run does put Jake Murray in fourth place at the moment strat six obstacles zero falls very close, very close, and a fast run. And on the course right now, we got Kai Bexman heading his way through right now. And into that spider hallway, Kai staying nice and scrunched up in there. Hopping out that hallway, heading on over to that spinning log. Nicely done. Seeing more athletes start to sprint across that now because it really eats away at the clock. You're trying to work your way through. You want to have no, uh, enough time there at the end to try to go for that, go for that big finish. No problem. On the rope junction for Kai, heading on over to the warp wall. Down the salmon ladder rungs we go. Nice work so far. It just wants to get out of there. So fast to that point, Strat. A minute and 12 seconds on the dismount there. Flying through. Now these last few athletes know what time they need to beat in order to make it into that top 10. Can you tell me get a battery ready? That's the advantage of going later in the run order. Kai's attempt now on to the up for grabs combo. Grab and hold, and right away into it. Had the right idea. It's going to have about a minute remaining. 
just couldn't quite get the ring in place. So now we've got just under a minute to go. Let's see if he changes plan of attack any. Big leap right away. Gets it on the second try and transfers right away onto that bar. Hold it tight. Hands facing forward. Needs that big arch, arch. Big arch. Throws. Not quite able to oh, get there. He knew it too. Just shy. He's got of, time though. He's got time. He's got one more attempt. Does he want to save it for later? I think he might save it. It would have been it would have been tight to get through. And we are going to take a quick battery break. So we're going to take a word from our sponsors. Thank you, guys. We will be right back. We craft custom software tailored to your business by collaborating with you. At Role Model Software, we solve business problems, not just technical problems. And the way that we do that is very direct collaboration with you, the customer. We listen to you through our entire partnership, adding our expertise to amplify your expertise to get you to your desired destination. We have people contact us all the time who aren't really sure whether they need custom software or not. Fact is, we can't know either until we have an initial conversation about it, which is a natural fit for us because we're every bit as much a business consultancy as we are a software solution provider. If you have questions, or even if you just need a little bit of guidance, give us a call and let's see how we can help. Wilson, the founder of the nonprofit Ocean Needs Everyone. It's our goal to keep our beautiful oceans clean and thriving by spreading a positive message. We do this through things like beach cleanups, sea oat and mangrove plantings, presenting to corporations about plastic straw usage, and creating ocean trash sculptures for the Super Bowl. We especially want to inspire the youth because they are the next generation of conservationists. You're never too young to make a difference. All right, here we go. Tyler Kurtzel. Oh, yeah. TK Ninja Tricks on the platform, ready to go. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands? Trying to get the crowd bumped up for him. Step on the Competed at multiple Ninja Sport Championships. Let's see if we can get him in qualified this time around. Through obstacle one, no issues there. Stay nice and compact here. Don't want to clip those cables. And pushes his way out of that spider hallway. Oh, careful on and nice with the shoulder roll and a side flip, continuing that momentum all the way through. <laughs> They don't call them TK Ninja Tricks for nothing. <laughs> Moving on now for that rope junction. Got to control that swing a little bit as he transitions through. Big dismount heading on over for that warp wall. First attempt. No problem on the way up. Starts to work his way down that spider hallway. Working his way down. <laughs> Wants to crowd behind him. And here comes the drops. Big drop here. This is the big nice one. Nice work. It's the landing minute 35 or so to that point. And here we go for his first attempt on this up for grabs combo. 
right away into it. Great commitment here. It's Let's really see the finish. Nice Up for grabs. Look out. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Well, went with the hands facing forward onto the ring, which isn't as bad. Um, but the hands forward on the flying bar, it's going to be a lot tougher to hold on to because that bar will spin and spit you right out. Now, might need to go for a switch grip grab this next time, but that is a trickier move. Try number two. Gets it again. Can he make the adjustments? Just about 20 seconds remaining. Switch grip. Locks yeah, it in. Yeah, gets the switch grip. Needs to dismount. Hips. Ooh, not quite able to get there. A great attempt from Tyler, though. It's such a big move. Let's see if we can take a look at his first attempt here, you guys. That run puts him in 11th place ah, just outside the top 10. Not quite able to get there. Addie Herman, our final runner on the women's side. Here we go, Addie, making her way through. Already qualified. Over and over again. Over and <laughs> over. Very consistent with her performances. She's been a very consistent athlete in these competitions. Watch those cables. And on out of there. Great job. See how she attacks the balance. Looking for the move here. Over and done. Nice work. Into the rope slide. Good swings through rope junction here. Onto the warp wall. First attempt. Grabs hold of that slot and starts climbing her way up. And starts working her way down this chimney for attacking the final obstacle. Got about a minute and a half to go. Really, really good pace so far. Riding down the track, working her way up. And easy grab on that ring on the way back. Great transitions here, staying really controlled. Nice and smooth. Just able to really lock in that momentum. Keeping it straight. Wants to go all the way. Needs to go full clear beyond the mat. And there it is, up to the buzzer. And that's going to do it for Addie Herman. Full clear. Impressive stuff. All right, down to our that final puts three. Addie Herman bumps Jesse into second place. Addie goes into first place with that run. RJ Roman on the move. RJ coming out of Orlando, Florida. Runs the Obstacle Ninja Academy down there. Known for his speed. Some great technique work on laches and all sorts of tricky, tricky throws. Let's see how he does on this course. Making his way through the spider hallway. On to the spinning log. Nice work. Made it look pretty Man, easy there. really quick there. Yeah, no issues for him. Nice job through rope junction. 
No issues there. Saunters his way over to the warp wall. Taking a walking rest. Got to get him when you can. First attempt up. Good job on the grab before working his way down that chimney. Great pace right now. Yep, working his way down for these drops really on the satellite. Excellent work. Yes. And good pace to this point. He's got about half of his time remaining. Want to see another full clear here. And here he goes on the rock wall. And here's the move. How's he going to go about it? Switch grip grab. Oh, my gosh. Nice job. Little midair magic up there. Locks it in. Forward facing grip. No problem. Let's check that. Let's check that tech. This is such a technical move right here. Big arch, big arch. Arch on the backswing. Big swing through. No! Oh, oh, yes. Let's. With the flip. Let's go back and take a look. RJ Roman Ooh, with the, the huge rocker dismount. rocking it. And that's going to put him in first place. Fastest time with a full clear so far. Woo, right there on the corner. Impressive stuff. Here we go. Baby Bergy, Caleb Bergstrom, coming out of the Jungle Gym. And there in Tampa, Florida. Caleb been putting in the strong work as of late. Let's see how he does. On this course, trying to qualify still for the finals. Making his way through the first two obstacles. Gonna take some time here on the balance. Wants to get through it in one. Nicely done. Right away into the rope junction. Good moves here. And swinging his way through. Heading on over to that warp wall. First try. Up and over we go. You're at 50. 210 left. Start working his way down. Starts hopping his way through these drops. To get that dismount. Very fast at that point. And now he's eyeing this transition here. Catching his breath. Looking for the leap. Switch grip. And another nice job right away onto that next bar. Building up that swing one more time for the up for grabs. Forward facing grip into the switch grip move. Making sure it's nice and secure. Feeling out the bounce and the stretch of that bar. Building up that swing gets the big arch back. Big pull through nice and hits work. the buzzer. And uh, oh my gosh, goes for the fish <laughs> flop. Mr. Burks run with a great run. Let's take a look at that dismount again, Strat. Superhero landing to finish in our final runner, Super K. Caleb and that Zach. edges out RJ, puts Caleb in first place. Caden Lebsack, ready to go, already qualified. 
was the last man standing for season 13 of American Ninja Warrior. One of the a few people to get on that final rope climb. Let's see how Caden does. Got to stay tight in this hallway. Caden pushing his way through, keeping those legs engaged. Taking those tiny hops, being secure with his foot placements. He's a strong push out of the hallway, no problem. Into the spinning log. Quick feet here, fancy footwork, no issues for Mr. Lepsack into the rope jungle. Quick moves. Ooh. Goes with the one hand Ooh. before the other. Forgot about that slide. Oh, but don't worry, Stray. He'll just lock off he and, just and lock, slide it one over. One hand lock offs on ropes, no issues. <laughs> Of the warp while we go. Cleaning the shoes, making sure they're nice and squeaky clean. A little bit of a misstep there, that's okay. It's going to hurt his time a little bit, but should not be an issue. Still looking for that full clear. Gets it on his second go. We're going to have to pick up that pace just a little bit. Working his way down this chimney for that salmon ladder drop. One more big drop here. And pops on out of there. Grab a little, uh, little bit of that bucket of chalk, chalk. Provided by them. He is one of the co-creators of that bucket of chalk group. Right away into it. Nicely done. So quick. So accurate. But the dismount still need to stick this. Big Wolf. No. No, didn't they didn't like get it. it. Just, he got it. You gotta They're go back, gotta go head. back. Must have heel touched on the dismount. We'll see if we got the angle of it. So he's got some time left. Oh, what a save, one-handed. Right away into it again. Just needs a big arch here of those hips. Stuck it that time, looks like. Got him a uh, thumbs up that time around. Got the clear that time around, folks. Just Let's take a look. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. Here's the, here's the view right here that you want, Strat. Oh, kept the foot on the pad. Right there on the ledge. Nicely done. And that is going to put Caden Lebsack in fourth place overall. He will be moving Ooh, on nice to the finals. Job. He will be in that top ten. Nice stuff. Good runs from everybody. That's going to do it for the open round. And we're going to be moving on uh, to the next couple here in a bit. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We appreciate y'all hanging out with us. I'm going to take a little bit of a breather. Yes, yeah, Strat, that is going to do it. We're going to take a quick look at our leaderboards. We're going to take a quick look who is going to be in our top ten. Who shakes out on the women's side and on the men's side. First, we will start on the women's side looking at our top 15 here is a quick look. Addy Herman, first place. Jesse Lebrecht, second. Maggie Owen coming in third place. Ashley Bergstrom, Amelia Lenardi, our top five. And you can see Tiana Weberly taking the 10th place spot right on the bubble there. And let's go ahead and take a look at things on the men's side. There you have it, Caleb Bergstrom 
with the fastest time. RJ Roman in second, Sam Folsom rounding out our top three. And you can see Caden Lebsack, Max Feinberg, top five. Ryan Lashoff, 10th Ooh. place, gets that bubble spot. Right in there. Barely edged out Jacoby Herman by one second for that 10th spot. Oh, Jacoby's so close. But that is going to do it here for wave two of the Open. We have our top 10 men, top 10 women moving on to the finals. And before we sign off, thank you so much for sticking with us today. Things definitely cleaned up there at the end, and we really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the stream, especially the end of the stream, please give a like, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate it. Everything helps. And consider checking out our Patreon. We do fun things like monthly giveaways, Discord parties, and all kinds of other stuff. So thank you to everyone here at Traverse, Brian Kretsch and uh, Sean Bryan for putting the courses together and the whole Traverse team for pitching in. We will see you guys back at 4.30 for the finals. And uh, we really appreciate you guys hanging out. Thanks Shrek. a lot, everybody. See you in a little bit. We will take a quick word from our sponsors. And we'll see you guys later this evening. At Role Model Software, we craft custom software tailored to your business by collaborating with you. At Role Model Software, we solve business problems, not just technical problems. And the way that we do that is very direct collaboration with you, the customer. We listen to you through our entire partnership, adding our expertise to amplify your expertise to get you to your desired destination. We have people contact us all the time who aren't really sure whether they need custom software or not. The fact is, we can't know either until we have an initial conversation about it, which is a natural fit for us because we're every bit as much a business consultancy as we are a software solution provider. If you have questions, or even if you just need a little bit of guidance, give us a call and let's see how we can help. Hi, I'm Enzidi Ferrari Wilson, the founder of the nonprofit Ocean Needs Everyone. It's our goal to keep our beautiful oceans clean and thriving by spreading a positive message. We do this through things like beach cleanups, sea oat and mangrove plantings, presenting to corporations about plastic straw usage, and creating ocean trash sculptures for the Super Bowl. We especially want to inspire the youth because they are the next generation of conservationists. You're never too young to make a difference. Have you ever experienced extremely sweaty hands? Not knowing where to step on agility? Being unlucky on special delivery? Or being absolute trash at Double Dipper? Then Bucket of Chalk Chalk is the right chalk for you. Side effects may include extremely grippy hands even after washing them. Always know where to step on agility. Adds a bit of extra luck on special deliveries and it tastes like success. Thanks for taking some time to check out the Role Model Craftsmanship Academy. As part of Role Model's culture, our foundation is on growing people and seeing them provide value for our customers. That starts for us with the Craftsmanship Academy. When participants come to us, our goal is to give them a solid foundation to launch their careers. We believe very much in the craftsmanship mindset in the same way that you would see that with other trades. We believe it applies to the software discipline that you need to learn hands-on in the field from those that are more experienced than you. And so we want to apply that to the way that we bring on new team members and grow the team that we have. And so we start that process with the foundation and immersion process that we call the Craftsmanship Academy. If this has piqued your interest and you'd like to learn more, feel free to reach out to us or explore the website some more. And we're always looking for qualified candidates for the Academy. If you think that's you, I'd encourage you to apply and we can start that process with you today.